Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain in Financial Radio. And of course, that's P A Y N E. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan and great hair, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking? How's, uh, I don't know, is this like week eight, nine of quarantining? I've kind of pretty much lost track of all the days and the months at this point. Well, one thing is important to remember, Rye, that uh, Sunday is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the moms that are listening, especially to your mom. Yes, happy Mother's Day, Mom. And hopefully you got those flowers earlier in the week. It's always better to be late, excuse me, early rather than late with mom or uh, or else. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, she's checking. She's checking that mailbox. <laughs> always is. Always is. Well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about the four biggest financial mistakes of 2020 and how you can avoid them. We're seeing everything right now under the sun, and we're going to make sure you're staying on track. We're going to talk about core principles of managing your money. When you're building your financial plan, Bob and I are going to give you the five main areas you need to focus on right now, along with this week's financial propaganda. This is where we call it the worst advice, best advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. We're going to break it down for you. So you're making good decisions about your finances right now. And for our spotlight segment today, we have our financial advisor, Aaron Dessen. He's going to be with us in the studio and he's going to review and break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. What kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. We're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, why are quarantining? We'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. We'll put together a game plan for you today. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the best advice, worst advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting to help you make better decisions with your finances. So Bob, I know you and I, we just love to send those articles back and forth. And sometimes we find a great article that everyone can learn from, or we find something so egregious that we just have to call them out on this segment of our show. So like, what did you find this week that you just felt a burning desire to talk about? All right. What a week. I mean, the perma bears, you know, who never want to see the market go up, uh, came out this week and said, Warren Buffett sold out of the market. It's over. Yeah, I love that. Right. First off, the guy owns like four to 500 billion in stocks, right? Like at all times, he's never out of the market for the record. Yeah, they forgot to mention that, um, you know, that he sold his uh, airline stock, which was probably six to eight billion. I'm not even sure what the number is, but they didn't mention the other 193 billion that he has invested in individual stocks or the 433 billion in total that he has in individual companies and those stocks, plus another 137 billion in cash that he's going to use to buy more stocks. And we're in a weird place right now because we obviously had this huge sell-off in the market. We saw one of the fastest decline ever in history. I mean, literally the market was down over 30% within a matter of three weeks, which is just unprecedented. And Bob, I think I still have the scars <laughs> from these past couple of weeks. But then we had one of the biggest, the biggest rebound in history 
over the course of the last couple of weeks, you know, markets are up anywhere from like 25, 30% from their bottom, which we're still far away from the top again, depending on what market we're talking about. But we're in this weird place where it's the question is, is the market going to keep going higher? Or are we going to see another cataclysmic decline down? And that's pretty much what all the financial media is talking about right now. Well, you know, that's one thing that uh, they didn't mention a lot in the negative articles. But you know, what he basically said was, I don't know what's going to happen next week or next month or even in a year. But let's say you owned a farm and the neighbor came over and offered you $2,000 an acre and you turned it down. And then the next day, he came in and offered you $1,200 an acre and you turned it down. And then the next day, he came in and offered you $800 an acre. Are you going to let your neighbor think, drive you into thinking that, oh, things are really bad. I better, the trend isn't good. I should sell. Well, that's what happens when the market goes down. Just because some insane neighbor, we call it Mr. Market, is setting prices lower, you think they're going to continue to go lower. And that's not what investing is about. And that's why it's so hard to be unemotional and successful. Yeah, so I think the question right now is, and we're getting this all the time, is do I keep my money in cash right now? Uh, or do I get my money out of the market because the market is definitely going down again? I've been watching all these financial media channels. Well, first off, and I say this all the time, they don't know, okay? They didn't predict the move down in the first place, but all of a sudden, all the experts, and I will put that in quotes, Bob, um, think they know what's going to happen next. Your guess is as good as theirs, and hopefully it's more reassuring or maybe not. I don't know. But I think the point is, and we talk about this with our clients, and we want to make sure you're making the best decisions, is be invested. If you need to be in the market or you need to have money invested, don't wait. There's a good risk. The market keeps going higher here. If the market goes down again here, fine, but you have to have other things in your portfolio like bonds. And we talk about having that emergency cash. But the reality of it is now's the time to be invested, not waiting on the sidelines for some magical signal that's never going to arrive. You know, uh, my clients are mostly retired and um you know, when the market was up, we weren't selling to fund their retirement. When the market was down last month, we weren't selling to fund their retirement because we're funding the retirement with dividends and interest. And those dividends and interest came in like clockwork this month, last month, last year, and they will next year. Investing's about achieving goals. It's not about buying low and selling high. And that's where financial propaganda is so dangerous. It prevents you from doing the right things. You got to be process driven. You can't be event driven. Yeah, which brings us to another point, too, is you know, a lot of people are asking the question, you might be asking this right now, why is the market going up? The news <laughs> is terrible right now. I mean, every week, it's the unemployment's going up. Um, they're talking about GDP, which is you know, the growth of the U.S. economy, is going to shrink down, in some cases, say, 50%. And that's annualized, by the way. They love to make it sound more dire when it's the media. Um, but we have to remember the economy and the stock market are not the same thing. And I know it's hard to grasp that when the news is bad. You know, the economy in real time is what's happening right now, but the market, Bob, is what we call forward looking. The market's looking past the recession now. So that's really, really important when you're getting invested. It's not about the news right now. The market already digested that weeks ago. Hey, right. Just like the other day, a client of mine called me up and said, You can't believe this. My competitor just offered to buy my business from me at 40% below what it was worth just a year ago. And I said, he said to him, yeah, of course my revenue's down, but why do you think we're putting in 14 hour days because we're gonna recoup that revenue and we're forward looking, our company's gonna be worth a lot more. And why would I sell the company down 40% when I know it's worth 40% more? It's the same way you gotta think about the stock market, right? Revenue's down, unemployment's up, the economy's down, but that's not a permanent situation. The market's looking at when things get back to normal, and that's why prices are forward looking, not reacting to what's happening today. Yeah. So don't make your decisions based on the current news, I guess, the bottom line. This is why we stress time to have that game plan that makes the decisions about how you're invested for your goals. The current economic data, it's already been factored in. This is, it's not new news. Even though it's shocking, it's not new news. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, this is the time. I got to get a game plan in place. I'm sitting on cash or I'm sitting in a strategy. It doesn't really make sense for me. I don't even know if it makes sense for me. Well, here's your shot to get that evaluation. If you're one of the next five callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan, a full audit of your financial life, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review. All you need to do is log in, get those values off the computer of all your holdings. You can send them to us in a secure email. 
and we're going to build for you while you're sitting in quarantine or half quarantine now, your own personalized financial portal to get a bird's eye view or a full audit of your entire financial life and we can start making good decisions. We're going to look at everything from income. Are you retired now or looking to retire? Do you have an income plan? How are you going to draw from your portfolio? When the market goes down like this, the economy is in a recession, do you have an income plan that's going to take you through it? We're going to show you how to build an income plan for life. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard with the market coming down? Were you caught off guard? We're going to show you how to build a portfolio that's bulletproof. It's protected during these downturns so you can stay invested long term and live off your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. A lot of these investment portfolios, a lot of these products that you own have a lot of hidden costs you don't know you're paying because they're hidden. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio on those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products. We're going to show you how to reduce that cost and also optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective that you can save. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money can make invested. Then we're going to tie it all together into our total famous financial master plan and determine the most critical question for you. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family's worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? And all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next five callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost but there won't be a plan unless you text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm with Rye, my son, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. <laughs> You know, the coronavirus pandemic may have paralyzed you when it comes to dealing with your finances. You know, when there's so much uncertainty in the world like there is right now, it's really to it's really easy to avoid and really do nothing. And this, what we found is in our experience, can be a huge mistake. So, Bob, I thought we could discuss some of the bad decisions our listeners really need to avoid given the current environment. Well, Rob, we know that um, the number one bad mistake that's being made right now it was the same mistake that was made almost 11 years ago in the Great Recession. You stop putting money in your 401k, reverse that immediately. Yeah, I've had a lot of our clients call me up and, and friends and just saying, well, should I stop doing my automatic investments every month because it's so crazy right now and then reevaluate later? And the answer there is a hard no. <laughs> like if you have a game plan, the whole point of having the game plan is you stick to it when things are make more chaotic. And right now, you know, obviously markets are down big from where they were just a couple months ago. And our experience, Bob, whenever you have uncertainty, it's usually your best opportunity. Well, you know, the old expression, right? Buy low, sell high. In this case, it's buy low, don't stop buying. <laughs> yes. Um, I like that, Bob. It's, yeah. uh, that's it's a new pretty one. clever, pretty clever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the point is, look, if you're, you need to be doing your 401k right now, make sure you're making your contributions. This is the time to pick up shares you know, we have a philosophy when the market finally does go up and it has started to go up, he or she with the most shares is going to win. So you really want to be dollar cost averaging right now. Now is the time more than ever to be making the contributions to get to your goals. The other mistake, Bob, we're seeing all the time right now is maybe at the beginning of the year, you thought, you know what, this is the year, 2020. I'm going to get my finances together. I'm going to do that financial plan. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had this pandemic, we're all quarantined, and you're like, ah, eh, maybe I'll postpone that and do that later. You know, Rye, you're absolutely right. And you know what I always say, the world doesn't end very often. And what hasn't ended, even though things are very different now, are your dreams and your goals, and you need to have a plan on how to achieve them. Exactly. Like now it's more than ever, it's time to reassess your finances, um, which brings us to our third mistake that we don't want you to make. And that is, if you think you're going to retire this year, or you thought you were going to retire now, like, I'm going to postpone that this is the best time to do that audit, right? This is the time to actually reevaluate those goals while things are down. And then you can start making good decisions. But if you're just going to like put your head in the sand 
and not start doing that financial planning. To me, when the uncertainty is high, it's the most important time to actually have a game plan. You know, they always tell us, Rye, when you're stressed, the best thing to do is take action. And I think that's one of the best things you can do is take action toward your financial plan. You know, retake, you know, take a hard look at your inventory of investments. See what your passive income streams are. More importantly, look at your budget. Hey, my budget's better now. I can't believe how much we can't spend because I'm stuck in the house. It's crazy. I actually did the analysis. My my discretionary my discretionary budget is down seventy percent. Wow. So man, when I'm living in New York, I spend a lot of money. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe we should keep you out of there. But uh, now we need the economy yeah. to get back going. I'm gonna I'm gonna start rooting for uh, New York to get open. <laughs> that's true, but that's a good point though. Because okay, maybe your accounts are down right now. More the reason to do that audit. But your spending's probably gone down too. And I tell you what, that feels pretty good to look and see that you're saving more money than you probably were before all of this happened. Um, and I think it's a great time to do that budgeting because it's a nice time. It's an easy time to look at what you're spending because you know it's going to be less. And then you can be a little more objective about, okay, when things get back to normal, what does my savings game plan got to look like? Um, you know, What do I actually spend and how much more should I really be spending? But man, this is the time to do it. You know, Do that audit don't put your head in the sand. Like, Don't put those statements in a drawer and don't look at them or don't not log on to your computer and see your values. Like, This is the time to stare all that stuff right down and start making those good decisions. You know, I'll tell you, I, every did, I can't tell you how many plans in the last couple of weeks, right? Because suddenly some of my clients who, who were going to retire, but just kept working because it's kind of their hobby. And all of a sudden, the, you know, the revenue dropped, the business slowed down. And they said, what am I going to do? And I said, well, you know, the last time we ran your projections, you could spend five times what you normally spend. Um, so, you know, you, even though the stock market and the bond market has been volatile, your income hasn't changed. So I think it's like it, it's just a great feeling to know that you're set for life and you're in a position to when this is over. Do I go back to work or not? You know, it's great to be in that position to know. Well, that's why we always call it financial independence yes. versus retirement, right? You know, work because you want to work, not because you have to work and have that game plan in place. So even now with all the volatility and all the uncertainty, if you have a portfolio that's built right, mm -hmm. you're still generating the income. Your portfolio probably isn't down that much relative to the market because of having bonds in your portfolio, which we talk about are critical. And not to mention right now, if you look at things, there's so many proactive moves you can make with taxes. Like how many different things, things like tax swaps, where you can book losses you can use for years to come, um, and, or even just converting your retirement plan that's down now into a portfolio that, that's a Roth IRA where it's tax-free for your life. Like They're great moves you can make right now if you're smart about it. At somebody calls this week where clients and friends are saying to me, oh, oh, Bob, I stuck it in a drawer. I shredded it. I don't even want to look at it. I said, oh, no, pull that thing out <laughs> right now. We got things to do. You know, We're going to get the IRS to pay for some of these losses on paper. We're going to fund that loss bank because we have tremendous long-term capital gains that we're going to have to realize someday. You know, some of our bonds have been sold at big profits. So you want to make sure that you're doing all the proper steps. You know, I think, right, you know, what would happen if your house got hit by a hurricane? Would you sit there and let the rain come in, you know, through the roof and not fix the roof? I mean, you got to make moves right now. Yeah. It's almost like in two, Bob, it's just like, what's a better stress reliever than taking action? It's like, you know, the first week of quarantine didn't really want to work out. I was probably eating way more food than I should have been. And then at some point, you just have to say, all right, got to get the runs in, got to get up, do the push ups, do something. And it just takes the stress away. Same thing with your finances. Like, take action now. You make some good decisions now. Even if your portfolio is down, you're going to feel good about it. And if you're thinking, like, this is a time, like, yes, I'm in quarantine. Here's the time where I'm not doing all these meetings. I can sit down. I should look at my finances. Well, if you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full audit of your financial life. All you need to do is get those statements or go online, get your values. You can send everything to us in a secure email, and we'll put together a video conference for you where we're going to take all that data, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view, do a full financial audit, and start making good decisions about your finances. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. Even with the market down now, if you can create an income stream that takes care of all of your expenses, that sets you up for life. We're going to show you how to build that income plan for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit hard in the last couple of weeks as the markets came down? 
We're going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio against the ups and downs of the market. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. You probably don't know you're paying a lot of these products from the brokerage firms, those annuities, life insurance products, mutual funds. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio, then optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective. We're going to show you exactly what to do Then tie it all together in one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to make sure your family can get to their goals, their dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement my son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan. Let's text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC, 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out with my son, Rye Payne. At least we are virtually. And we're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense, practical advice for your planning and investing that you can apply. And that's why we put together our latest guide. We give you five ways to save on taxes for 2019 and 2020. There's still time to do things for both years. We give you five ways to do that. You can download it for free. You can simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes in 2019 and 2020. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective. We give you a how-to guide. Make it simple. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So, Bob. The Summer Olympics in Tokyo have been sadly postponed. You and I love the track and field events, yeah. given the fact that we both ran in college. Um, so it's kind of a bummer. But I thought we could still host our own financial planning Olympics this morning for our listeners. So we could talk about the five main financial events that you really need to be addressing right now with your financial plan. And that first event, Bob, is the inflation marathon. Yeah, right. That hidden insidious tax that uh, we think has gone away because things have been so deflationary lately. But I can assure you it's there and it's nasty and you need to plan for it. Yeah, that's the thing. When you build an income plan for retirement, it's a little more complex than these are my expenses and this is the income I need coming in because then you have to factor in everything's going to cost more in the future. So whatever income you need today, well, you got to double that every 20 years. So you've got to have a plan that accounts for the fact that things are going to cost more. And that's not that straightforward. You know, Ryan, it's not just your normal inflation, the big inflationary spiral that's been going on since I was born. And it's now worse because baby boomers are retiring at 10,000 a day are healthcare. Healthcare inflation is off the charts. Yeah. And it has to be planned in your portfolio. Make sure your financial advisor, if you're running your projections on your own, factor in either you have long-term care or a big portion of your portfolio could come out to cover those expenses. And at the same time, it's not going to ruin your lifestyle on a month-to-month basis. So a lot to think about when it comes to inflation and your retirement plan. Another event, Bob, and the summer financial Olympics would be the recession hurdles. I always hated the hurdles in high school and college, always afraid I was going to hit that freaking hurdle with my knees. So I always avoided them. Yeah, I was not a big hurdler either, Rye. My my strategy was to run through them. Um, I always got disqualified. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's you can't really run through a recession, but you can hurdle over it with proper planning. Yes. Look, we always know there's going to be a recession at some point, right? And no one predicted this. We were going to go through a recession because I don't think there's anyone on the planet that had predicted in January, not that I read anything about this, that we're going to have this huge pandemic this year and it's going to put us into a recession. So the point is you always have to have your plan in place. We talk about this all the time. Um, you know, Have your emergency cash, but have that safety in your portfolio. You should always assume the sky is going to fall 
And you've got to have that protection in your portfolio because if you don't, you get caught. Like Bob said in the first segment, when the tide goes out, you can see who's been swimming naked. Like we just want to avoid that. That's why it's so important to follow a process driven strategy where you keep your portfolio balanced. You create more wealth with how you behave in a recession than you do in any other time of the economy. Because as you always say, you know, you're the dean of common sense. Wealth creation is not about you know, having your stocks go up relative to the rest of the market. Wealth creation is about having the most shares of that investment when the investment goes up. And when's the best time to accumulate more shares, right? When prices are low. And as we like to say, Bob, you can't get good prices without bad news. And lucky for us, we've had a lot of bad news. But to your point, you can use that to your advantage as opposed to just putting your head in the sand and hoping that we get out of this thing. And that's the best strategy when it comes to a recession, become an expert at the hurdles. Yes, which brings me to the next financial event. Uh, we're going to the field now, Bob, the hidden fee toss. And track and field, you and I never did the field part of it. I think because we were skinny and tall, distance running were the only thing we were good at, was the only thing we were good at. But the hidden fee toss, you know, what, what about that event? That was the best part about being a fast runner. You could, you could tease the guys that threw the shot put and the javelin because they can't catch you. <laughs> they, might, they can throw that spear at you, though, man. I don't know. That was never uh, that was a risky game to play. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> but when it comes to fees, that is a, it's not a tough game to play. It, the hard part is finding out where they're hidden. And I'll tell you what, Wall Street and the insurance industry are masters of deceit. Well, the crazy thing about this, and we've run a lot of projections on annuities lately, and you might own an annuity, don't understand why you own it, how it works. Believe me, you're not alone. That's like everybody is these things have so many fees inside. And I did an analysis for a client two weeks ago. They're paying $75,000 a year. We could save them like 65 grand a year on what that was costing them. Think about that. Think about that money that could be in your pocket that's going to an insurance company. You don't even know you're paying it. Like that's crazy. You know, Ryan, I see it all the time. You know, after you do this for almost 50 years, you meet stockbrokers who tell their investors, Oh, no, you don't pay those mutual fund fees. The mutual fund company pays me. Um, like, well, where do they get the money, right? Oh, no, that annuity didn't cost you anything. The insurance company pays me my commission. Well, where's the insurance company get the money? I mean, you know, they think there's a sucker born every day, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's what uh, allows these stockbrokers and, and these insurance people to, to thrive, you know, when they really should not even be in the business. Yeah, it just goes back to you really need to understand what you own. And that's why having a financial audit is so critical. And you need to understand what the expenses are on everything you own, why you own it, how that works. And with those annuities, it could take, seriously, five spreadsheets to break it down. That's the kind of things that we do for you and our clients is we can actually get on the phone with the insurance company, not the salesman, and break these things down so you really understand what you have. Which brings me, Bob, to my favorite event in financial planning, synchronized planning. And that's where you ensure that you have an income game plan, an investment game plan, a tax game plan, an estate game plan, all working together. Does it get more awesome than that when you're building your financial plan? Man, you had me there for a minute, right? I thought you were going to tell me you'd love synchronized swimming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, not plan- an event we would be good at. We're not the most important. <laughs> that's for sure. But hey, no better time now to make sure things are titled properly. Take an inventory of all of your assets, you know, your hard assets and your financial assets. Make sure the beneficiaries are titled properly. Make sure your will's up to date. A lot of you should be using a living will. You know, let's make certain that you're not going to pass on an enormous burden of taxation to your children and grandchildren. Hey, if you're sitting there thinking, boy, rise right, you know, I'm going to miss the Summer Olympics. I love them even more than the Winter Olympics. But, you know, the one thing I haven't been involved in is in the financial planning Olympics. Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next eight callers and you have at least 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will help you become financially organized. We'll create your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS, you know, no different than the GPS that you use in your car, except it's going to map where you're going financially and report daily on your progress to financial independence. It's going to define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and allow you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of a typical cookie cutter financial plan. This tool will update your net worth in real time every day, but you don't need to look at it. It'll be there when you're ready. This way, you'll always know where you are financially, but most important, you'll know exactly where you're going. 
In addition, you know, Ryan and I have talked a lot about not sticking your head in the ground in these times. You want to take a hard look at your statements. Matter of fact, you want us to take a hard look at your statements and make certain that you don't have a collection of investments. You know, that's the route to failure. We want you to win this environment. And what we're going to do is we're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? Do you have those dreaded bond funds that are loaded with junk bonds and non-rated high yield investments that aren't performing in this environment? Do you have unnecessary cost? You know, they're hidden. You know, we know they're hidden, but we have x-ray vision. Actually, we have tools that allow us to x-ray your portfolio, show you exactly where they hid those costs and why you're paying more than necessary. And income, well, I'll tell you, income something we all need, especially when we retire. We got to fill that gap, that Paycheck no longer comes in the door. You're not getting that deposit into your checking account. You want to have that dependable, repeatable income. And I'll tell you when you really need it is when you're retired. And your number one goal right now, if you're retired, keep it that way. And that's where the income is so critical. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 50 years. That's right. For over 45 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, with your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. If you're one of the next eight callers, you have over 500000 safe for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752 We're using a secure email. We're sending a video conferences so you can get a full audit of your financial life now while you're in quarantine or maybe half in quarantine at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And that's, of course, spelled P A Y N E. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can actually check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bbullish.com. That's bbullish.com. You can subscribe to our show get it in a podcast form and you can have it emailed to you directly every week. So you can not miss out on anything that Bob and I have to say, which I'm sure you don't want to. And you can check out and make sure that Bob's hair is real. Go to bebullish.com and you can learn more about our firm, Pain Capital Management, what we do here from a financial planning perspective. That's bebullish.com. And you can catch myself, other advisors at Pain Capital Management on all the major networks every week from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, just talking about our latest views on the market, the economy. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, we answer all your questions directly. You can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some phenomenal questions. And to help with those questions today, we have our man in the studio, Dan Irving. Dan, how's life down in North Carolina? Are you still quarantining? Are you uh, semi-quarantining? What's going on with you? I guess the right term would be semi-quarantining. We got some businesses opening up soon. I'm just looking forward to being able to go to a restaurant again to eat. Oh, man. What have you been cooking for yourself? Are you becoming a master chef there in the... uh... I've been making a lot of sandwiches and a lot of pasta. (laughs) (laughs) What's your best sandwich? Ooh, my best sandwich, probably a uh, turkey melt. That's my go-to. Ooh, nice, nice. Very yummy. Sounds really good. It is. Uh, well, we got some great questions in the mailbag today. Our first question comes to us from Mary in White Plains, New York. And Mary says, Bob, my portfolio dropped quite a bit in February and March. And though it recovered some in April, it's still down quite a bit. I'm retired and rely totally on this money for income because I haven't started my social security. I've been wanting to wait until age 70 to start it, but now I'm wondering if I should take it now. You know, Mary, that's a really good question, and I got a really good answer. Maybe. You know, with Social Security, you get a certain amount at age 62. You can get a higher amount if you declare it at full retirement, which for some is 66, for others is 67. And then you get the maximum amount if you're 70. So it sounds pretty simple. You should wait till you're 70. 
But Rye, we know from running numerous and thousands and millions of calculations on Social Security, it's not quite that simple, is it? Yeah, exactly right, because it takes you a long time to break even. So, for instance, if you take it at 62 and assume you are fully retired, you don't have other income, well, to take it at 66 instead, it, you'd have to live to age 79, 80 just to break even on it. So the question becomes, how lucky do you feel? <laughs> so a lot of it is you're just playing the actuarial table. Now, if you have longevity in your family, maybe your parents lived to 100, you might want to consider taking it later. But for most of us, a lot of times taking it earlier can be more advantageous than waiting for that higher benefit later. Well, you know, Mary, the other thing we don't know is whether you have a spouse. In my case, um, my spouse was a stay-at-home mom, homemaker, did a fabulous job. Just look at Ryan. Look how well he turned out. Um, ah, and when we went to well, well, you know, you did the uh, Social Security calculation for mom and I, and it made sense not to wait till 70, uh, you know, for me to declare Social Security at 66 because your mother got a much bigger benefit if I declared early. And when you did the calculation of future benefit, I'd have to live to 90, 95 to break even. So it made a lot of sense to do that analysis and make a smart decision. And I'll tell you what, right? The extra income comes in handy. Yeah, it does. So I think the, the long story short is there's like hundreds of ways to take Social Security. For you specifically, you really want to take it in context of your plan, um, not because your neighbor took it this way or your brother-in-law or your your sister took it this way. You've got to take it in a way that's unique to you and optimizes your financial situation. Thank you, Mary, for writing in. Our next question comes to us from Andrew in Madison, New Jersey. And Andrew says, Ryan, my wife is the main breadwinner in our family and she'll likely work for another 10 years or so. How much life insurance should we have on her? Enough to replace all of the money that she'd earn in the next 10 years? Or is that too much? Yeah, the whole idea of insurance is it fills in a gap and it really depends on how much money you saved. Like I was sitting with a client the other day, he's 60 years old. He's got like five insurance policies and we looked at it based on what he saved. He saved a couple million bucks. He doesn't really need the insurance anymore. And the one policy was a whole life policy. So it had all this cash value, which was very expensive, by the way, when we broke down all the fees and the philosophical question became, well, do you really need this insurance? So I think the ideal is you have insurance for the amount of time that you need it, but at some point you should be quote unquote financially independent. If something God forbid happens to you, your spouse could just live off the assets that you saved and you don't need insurance anymore. So that's the way I want you to think about looking at insurance in your portfolio. You know, Ryan, that's a great thing about wealth creation. As you create wealth, you're able to do what we call self-insurance, right? Insurance from an insurance company is a necessary evil to fill that gap until you're able to do it on your own. But, you know, it just never ceases to amaze me. Once you cross that finish line, once you achieve that wealth creation goal, insurance companies forget to call you and tell you you no longer need them. <laughs> um, I just don't understand the uh, motivation. Yeah. yeah, another rant on insurance too, Bob, is what I don't get either is a lot of these insurance policies, the death benefit gets bigger later. Well, that's counterintuitive. You know, ideally, once, you know, you paid off the mortgage, the kids are out of the house, um, you know, you probably don't need as much insurance anymore. So to have an insurance policy that's getting bigger and bigger over time makes no sense at all. Again, it's like it's counterintuitive to why you own insurance. So it's just something to think about if you have whole life policies, universal life policies out there that haven't been reviewed in a while. You've got to ask yourself, is this achieving what my goals are today? A lot of cases, it's not time to get rid of those policies. Yeah, so right, right. right. Just another good example of why, um, you know, you should right now have your financial plan re-looked at it. If you haven't done a financial plan, then give us a call. Now, Rob, I got a question for you. On a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, what would you give Mary and Andrew? Oh, I have to say there's a lot of work to be done here. Um, I'm going to give them a three across the board, Bob. They need to do some financial planning. There's some serious work that needs to be done. So, Ra, I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, what would you give Mary and what would you give Andrew? I got to say a hard two across the board, Bob. There's some serious financial planning that has to get done here. Um, they need to get on their horse as soon as possible. Well, I apologize to them. You must be in a bad uh, coronavirus mood or something, too. So that's awful. But anyway, let me ask all of you a question. On a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, what would Ryan give you? Are you a two? 
or are you a 10? And if you're not a 10, why wouldn't you want to be? Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next four callers and you've saved over 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is the financial GPS, you know, not unlike the one you have in your car, only this one tells you where you are financially and maps out where you're going and reports daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your goals. It'll help you to put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan. It'll update your net worth daily in real time. Now you don't have to look at it, but it's there whenever you feel like dropping in. And it'll also tell you exactly where you are financially, but more importantly, it'll tell you where you're going and when you're gonna get there, net inflation and net of taxation. Now, over the last couple of hours, we've talked about, you know, your statements that are coming in for the month. Well, we want you to look at them. Better yet, we want you to send them to us. We want to be certain that you're not sitting there with a collection of investments. We want you to have a portfolio that's going to win in the current environment. We want to be certain that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. True diversification across asset classes, within asset classes. You can't Get to your goals with bond funds. You need to have high quality bonds. You need a diversified portfolio that'll give you the diversification you need to help you to fend off this crazy volatility that we've experienced in the financial markets. We want to look at cost. A lot of costs are hidden. Well, we have x-ray vision. Well, actually, we have tools that enable us to x-ray your portfolio to tell you exactly where these unnecessary costs are and help you to eliminate those. And then lastly, we want to look at income. Income is so important, especially when we got to fill that gap that comes with retirement. But more importantly, when you're retired, your goal is to stay retired. And that depends on income, reliable, dependable, repeatable income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age old question. Are you and your family going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades. Can you believe it? For over 45 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Send all your statements through a secure email at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next four callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. While you're home on quarantine, we're doing video conferences. We're going to do a full financial audit at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's no pain, no gain, financial radio. And of course, that's spelled P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I want to make sure you're getting the most common sense, practical advice right now. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective still for 2019 and 2020. Bob and I put together our latest tax guide, five ways to save on taxes in 2019 that you can also apply to 2020. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. We give you five ways to save on taxes 2019 and 2020. There's still time. You can utilize this volatility to make some really good tax choices. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management, Mr. Aaron Dessen. Whew, was a lot to say. How's it going, Aaron? Thanks for being <laughs> on the show, man. It's going great, guys. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning. That beard is, you brought it in a little bit. I was, I'm missing the, the big <laughs> bushy beard that you had before. I guess quarantine life is, uh, you're getting cleaned up in quarantine life, I guess the way to put it. I didn't, I didn't want to scare Bob with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> he gets nervous, Aaron. He gets nervous. Well, this is our spotlight segment. Each week what we do is we take a real financial plan, we dissect it, 
and talk about how he helped a certain individual or couple get on their path to financial freedom. You worked on a case recently. Why don't you break it down for us? Sure. So recently I spoke with a couple, um, which is actually a case, you know, sadly, I'm seeing more often now with everything that's going on. He was a small business owner in Manhattan. And unfortunately, you know, he was forced to close and is ultimately going to be forced to retire early. So he really wanted to take a look at the big picture to, number one, see if he can do that, you know, what he needs to do to maintain his lifestyle um, and see, you know, what the best way to position his investments is going forward. I noticed one thing, we put together our full financial audit and we break everything down on a spreadsheet and it looks like they're sitting on, this is a very common thing, by the way, a lot of money in cash right now, earning nothing for the most part. Yeah, exactly. It was actually really interesting. So this was all due to what happened in 2008, 2009. Um, He had gotten burned with the financial crisis and really just was kind of gun shy moving forward since then and called now with everything going on because now he sees this as an opportunity, which I thought was interesting because with the last bear and the last recession, you know, he, he just got burned and couldn't get back in. And now that we're in, um, you know, now that the sky is falling, uh, he's really interested in getting back in the markets now. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, Aaron, because a lot of times you have uh, investors make the same mistakes over and over again. You know, we also call that insanity. But, um, you know, here's, a, here's the same investor, better educated who learned from, you know, the past volatility that it's always temporary. All the dips are temporary and the ups are, are permanent and inevitable. So uh, it's great that you had a, an educated investor, um, you know, ready to take advantage of some of the bargains out there. Yeah, I think this goes to a bigger point. This is something we talk about all the time. You can't get your financial goals earning 0.6%, you know, sitting in a 10-year treasury or in a low interest rate bond or cash account right now. And that's one of the reasons why our belief is, you know, markets are going to go up as we move along here because all you baby boomers out there, you need income. And let's be realistic. The, the market's probably one of the most attractive places to generate income for retirement. And it's going to be more of a need than something that's just a luxury to be invested. You're going to need to be invested to generate income. You know, that's a really good point, Rye. So, Aaron, um, with this gentleman, when you did the wealth projections, you know, with our 360 financial portal, sitting in all that cash, were they able to achieve their financial goals, net of inflation, net of taxation? Not, Not sitting in cash, Bob. I mean, unfortunately, as you know, cost of living and inflation increases over time, just eat away at those cash reserves. Um, But I was able to show him with just a moderate level of growth over the long term that he really was in great shape and can retire. He just needs to put that cash to work. And that's what we call, you know, that's what we call investing on purpose or a process driven strategy. And I love what you said. We only had to take enough risk to overcome, you know, these these, uh, problems of inflation and taxation. You don't have to, it's not an all or none proposition, which I think a lot of us fail to realize. Yes, I was going to say the same thing, Bob. You took the words out of my mouth. That's exactly right. It's not like all of a sudden you've got to make this decision to pour all your money into the stock market. That doesn't make sense, but a diversified portfolio is going to have all those components we talk about, You know, a big portfolio of high quality bonds. Right now, a lot of that income you can generate tax-free, which is huge. There's so many ways right now without an all or none proposition, you can get yourself invested and generate some serious current cash flow. Yeah. So actually what we were able to do is by taking only half of his money and investing that back into the market, uh, we were still able to increase his income annually by $25,000 a year. So that increase in income along with his social security, they were actually able to retire comfortably. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it. And the other thing is what I like about that is it's not a static stream of income, right? And if you're diversified properly, that income increases over time. Because the other problem is you have inflation. We talked about on the first segment of the show today, is you've got to account for that your cost of living is going to go up. And I got news for you. An annuity does not account for that. That annuity income comes in the same amount every year, even though your expenses are going to go up every single year. That's why we're not a big fan, typically, of static income like an annuity. You know, that's such a good point, Rye, because when we talk about reducing your stress and risk level to the sleeping point, it's not always about, am I taking too much risk? And a lot of times the question should be, am I taking enough risk? In other words, do I have enough volatile assets that can offset inflation and enable me to, to achieve my goals and dreams? So it's, it's really, it's, it's a double-edged sword. And the only way to know is to have a written wealth projection. And if you're looking right now in your drawer and you don't have one, well, I think it's time 
to get one because that's the only way you're going to be comfortable knowing how much risk you have, how much of this you need to take, and whether or not you can achieve your goals and dreams throughout your lifetime. As Bob likes to say, Aaron, another financial masterpiece. Great job on that case. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, yes, I need a game plan like this. I really need to figure out what I can spend in retirement. How do I optimize the income on my portfolio? I'm not getting to my goals, sitting in cash at 1%. Here's your shot to do it. We still have three slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Aaron Desson will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full audit just like this, where we look at everything. All we need to do is get those statements. You can send them through a secure email. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so we can start to do that audit. We're going to look at everything from income. What kind of income can we generate for you for retirement? What kind of income are you going to need? We're going to put together an income plan, show you exactly how to draw from your portfolio throughout retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Markets are down big. Are you sitting in cash? Did you have too much at risk? We're going to figure out the optimal amount of risk in your portfolio, show you how to protect yourself in retirement so you're not in a bad position. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's so many hidden costs in these investment portfolios. Financial people love to sell you. We're going to show you all the hidden costs are on those annuities, insurance products, mutual funds, show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio, then optimize your portfolio for taxes because there's just so many things you can do from a tax perspective. So there's more money in your pocket for retirement than tie it all together is one total financial master plan and determine that critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Hey, don't miss out. We only have three spots left. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next three callers, you've saved over $500,000 for your retirement. Rye, Aaron, and I will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC, 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show, Aaron. I mean, I don't know who would want to do a video conference with you now that you're just like so clean shaven <laughs> right now. You get the you get the handsome Aaron Desson to run some numbers for you. It's like that's what I call an offer you can't refuse. I'm kind of jealous of Bob of uh, I'm kind of jealous of Bob in Florida right now. I feel like we should be recording on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, the beach is open here, Aaron. Um, and I have to go water the uh, flowers that Ryan sent his mother, unlike our plants in our New York office, which are long gone. <laughs> that can be pretty when we get back there. Well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.